assalamu alaikum and good morning to one and all today we'll study about hypoglycemic effect of insulin in the rabbit i am sheikh abu sufyan welcome you to my channel pharma learning forever at the end of this e learning session you are able to explain mechanism of hypoglycemic effect of insulin with the help of glucose insulin glucagon cycle discuss the requirement and procedure observe and interpret the result of the experiment so let's see first what do you mean by insulin so insulin it is a peptide hormone and it produced by the beta cell of pancreas in response to high glucose level in the blood so whenever there is high blood glucose level that is called as hyperglycemia there is release of the insulin to control this blood glucose level okay so now let's see about the mechanism of hypoglycemic effect of insulin with the help of glucose insulin glucagon cycle so do remember that whenever there is high glucose level in the blood that is called as hyperglycemia so in response to hyperglycemia there is stimulation of pancreatic beta cell to release the insulin so whenever high blood glucose level is there there is stimulation of beta cell of the pancreas and this stimulation of beta cell of pancreas it lead to release of insulin from this beta cells so once this insulin it is released it act on the insulin receptor and after acting on the insulin receptor it activate glucose transporter so there is activation of the glucose transporter after insulin it's bind to the insulin receptor do remember that this glucose transporter it facilitate transport of the glucose from blood into the cell so now when here there is high blood blood glucose level now this glucose will be transported with the help of this glucose transporter from blood into the cell so now there is uptake of the glucose into the cell and it lead to reduced in the blood glucose level why blood glucose level it is reduced because the glucose it's move from blood into the cells after release of the insulin now once this blood glucose level it is reduced or it is maintained to the normal level after this it uh, it causes inhibition of further release of the insulin so it inhibit further release of the insulin okay and since it inhibit further release of the insulin this inhibition will again stop the sequence of e1 which happens after release of the insulin so there is no release of the insulin there is no activation of the glucose transport and it further stop um, the movement of the glucose from blood into the cell okay second important thing that happens after after blood glucose level become low it stimulate pancreatic alpha cell to release the glucagon okay so when there is low blood glucose level it stimulate pancreatic alpha cell to release the glucagon and this glucagon it basically it produces glycogenolysis so it is responsible for glycogenolysis where glycogen it is converted into the glucose and it also stimulate the process that is called as gluconeogenesis which is generation of the new glucose so there is glycogenolysis and there is stimulation of the gluconeogenesis and this stimulation since glycogen uh, glycogenolysis causes conversion of the storage form of glycogen into the glucose and gluconeogenesis also causes generation of the glucose overall it further produces increase in high glucose level that is hyperglycemia and this cycle it is continue so whenever there is very high glucose level is there there is stimulation of the beta cell of the pancreas which releases the insulin okay and it help to reduce the blood glucose level once this blood glucose level it is low especially Uh, due to the effect of the insulin, or maybe when you are fasting, so during this period, if you skip your lunch or the dinner, and if your glucose level go down, then in such case there is stimulation of the alpha cell, and this alpha cell it causes release of the glucagon, which stimulate glycogenolysis, which is conversion of glycogen into the glucose, and gluconeogenesis, that is generation of the glucose. So this is how uh, both high glucose level and the low glucose level. it activate different pathway which lead to maintenance of the blood glucose level so the point to be remember here is the stimulation of pancreatic beta cell it causes release of the insulin and stimulation of pancreatic alpha cell it causes release of the glucagon so insulin it reduces the blood glucose level whereas glucagon 
it causes increase in a blood glucose level so this complete cycle it is uh, by which the blood glucose level it is maintained in the normal range in our body it is called as glucose insulin glucagon cycle any imbalance in this cycle which is generally happen in case of disease like diabetes where there is damage to the beta cell of the pancreas so since there is damage to the beta cell so there is no enough release of the insulin so you are not able to maintain the blood glucose level because the blood it doesn't move in such case from blood into the cell so since there is no uptake of the glucose into the cell there is always high blood glucose level that is called as hyperglycemia and due to this hyperglycemia the patient suffering from the diabetes so this is the mechanism behind this so let's see about the aim of today's experiment so the aim of today's experiment is to evaluate the effect of insulin on blood glucose level in the rabbit so the requirements are we are using animal that is rabbit having the body weight of 1.8 to 3 kg we are using the drug that is 20 unit of the insulin uh, where one unit it contains 0.04082 mg of insulin per unit instrument we are using it is the glucometer or uh, it glucometer it is not available even in the laboratory you can use calorimeter syringe can be used to inject the insulin and also to withdraw the blood let's see about the procedure of this experiment so first you need to select healthy rabbits weighing 1.3 to 3 kg so the weight of uh, the rabbit must be 1.3 to 3 kg and after acclimatization period of 1 week you can fast this rabbit for overnight and before giving insulin first you withdraw the blood from marginal ear vein so you can uh, use the rabbit holder and with the help of rabbit holder you can hold that rabbit and from the marginal ear vein of the rabbit you can withdraw the blood and measure blood glucose level and this blood glucose level that you measured before giving injection of the insulin it is called as initial blood glucose level or it is also called as baseline blood glucose level now once it is done after this you can inject the insulin so dose of insulin that is to be injected it is 0.15 unit per kg to the animals and check the blood glucose level after the interval of 1 hour and once you measure this blood glucose level after injection of the insulin so this blood glucose level it is called as final blood glucose level so now you having two blood glucose level one that is before administration of the insulin that is called as initial blood glucose level and other blood glucose level which is after injection of the insulin that is called as final blood glucose level once you measure this you can compare both initial and final blood glucose level and then you can conclude the result of this experiment so let's see about the observation table and let's see how we can interpret the result so i have mentioned over here there are three uh, reading from three rabbits so this is initial blood glucose level that is uh, 100 mg per deciliter before giving insulin in first rabbit second rabbit it is 103 third rabbit it is 104 and the mean value of this it is coming to 102.33 after uh, administration of the insulin so here i have major blood glucose level after 1 hour so this blood glucose level it is measured after 1 hour so even you can measure it after different time interval maybe you can measure it after 2 hours also you can measure it after 3 hours also in order to see what happen for long period of time after administration of the insulin but this blood glucose level it is after 1 hour of administration of the insulin so now you can see the blood glucose level it is reduced from 100 to 82 here in first animal in second animal it is reduced to 103 to 80 then in third animal it's reduced from 104 to 85 and mean value it is reduced from 102.33 through 82.33 so this indicate that there is decrease in blood glucose level in presence of insulin so insulin it causes decrease in a blood glucose level so this decrease in a blood glucose level it is called as hypoglycemic activity of the insulin so how you can conclude so based on the mean decrease in a blood glucose level so now you can see the mean value of the blood glucose level it is decrease okay that is called as hypoglycemic activity so this mean decrease in a blood glucose level after administration of the insulin at various time interval it indicate hypoglycemic effect of the insulin 
so i have done with today's practical thanks for watching my session for more such learning subscribe to my channel and if you like my session then do remember to give me a thumbs up